Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Raptor Call of the Shadows. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and onwards to the Tango Sector. I am worried about this because I am nowhere near as familiar with these other two regions as opposed to Bravo Sector. And you can see my new weapon, and yeah, it definitely packs a punch. It hits air and ground targets which is good and it's also I don't know what I meant to say there uh, and since it does hit air and ground targets I won't have to switch between the air to air and air to ground missiles which is why I sold both of them although I will be getting more of them over the course of things, but I'll just sell them for the extra money. Case in point. Uh, and after, uh, I know I mentioned this last time, but after clearing Wave 9 last time, I, the, the difficulty has gone up. So I believe it's to the veteran difficulty. So we'll be seeing just more stuff in our way, just in general. And I'll be buying lots and lots of face shields, believe you me. And also with veteran difficulty, the uh, the boss's health meter will be full as opposed to only half full like they were before. Which, all in all, won't really change that much as long as I'm able to stay out of the way. But, at while the higher difficulty does mean more enemies, it also means more potential for money. And, oh, okay, I'm glad I... Wasn't gonna say glad I didn't get hit, but then I went and got hit. Ah, there we go. Not sure why I'm going out of my way to attack things that can't actually hurt me, but there you have it. Ooh, that, that's just more money. Okay, fine. Okay, there's the boss. I was starting to wonder at... Okay, so that's... You just have regular shots. Whew. Okay. So that is that. And how much was the uh, minigun cost? 250. Uh, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to afford that if I'm going to be spending money on face shields this whole time, but frankly, face shields is probably the better investment. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so already, even from the get-go, we're seeing a lot of new different enemies with different weapon configurations. Doesn't seem like a heck of a lot now, but that will change very soon. Couldn't say for sure when, because I think I've only gone through this a handful of times compared to Bravo Sector. Oh jeez, got that bit of ammunition already. Yeah, I know I've mentioned this already, but uh, the. Uh, the uh, shareware version of this game only had Bravo Sector. It didn't have the other two. 
And like I said, that's pretty much where the vast majority of my experience with this of this game comes from. Oh jeez. Uh, whoop. Yeah, I definitely want to take you out before you do do any damage. And it feels odd that we're flying over and destroying what's basically a farm. It just seems kind of odd, though I guess it all depends on what kind of stuff they're growing. Oh, that's some more money. Significant amount. That was about 50k. Jeez, lots of missiles! And I feel odd for saying it that way, I'm not sure why. Uh. I can only assume that the, uh, the pattern will continue from Bravo Sector and the, and that the, uh, mini bot the, uh, Mid bosses won't show up until around wave five, but I fear for woo when that will actually happen. Ah, dang it. Oh, that's a old, that semi-old familiar face. Oh, jeez. That. A lot, that's a very dangerous array of weapons there. And I'm thankful that I got through that whole wave relatively unscathed, really. And I will go ahead and sell those, sell that, and I don't have enough. Well, actually, well. How much was the uh, auto track? Okay. I'm taking a risk, but I'm going to sell half of my health to buy this thing. Having only half of my health won't really matter because I have the face shields. So, unless I go through all three face shields, I really won't have a problem. And I think I'm going to hold off on actually demonstrating it until I get to the boss. Because otherwise, I might be too distracted with showing it off and bad things will happen. Although, and the, well, the other thing about sacrificing my health for this is when I get health pickups, it prioritizes my primary health over the face shields. And like I said, it'll heal up 25 points of regular health, but only 5 points of the face shields, pretty much. So, I feel like that would actually work, I suppose? I don't know. Yeah, if you haven't seen the the homing shots from the the ground target, the ground targets, those seem to be the bigger priority to me. Oop, hello. And I'm not getting in front of you. And as long as they don't fire right away, and I see them. Taking him out should be too bad. Ah. Why did I just 
stay there and get hit by all of that? Aha! Although I guess one downside of the... Was it the, uh... Plasma Cannon here, or whatever the heck this thing was called again. Is that if you have a lot of ground targets, you're not really going to be hitting a lot of stuff on in the air. But that's... Frankly, I, I prefer it this way. Yee whoa. And as I've said, mentioned before about my preference with this weapon, you can with this weapon you can lead your shots like I am doing, as opposed to the lasers where you pretty much have to be staring your enemy in the face. And I don't really like doing that. And that looks like a, yeah, that was about 90 grand. Very good. And there's the boss, which doesn't really seem like much. And there's your minigun. It doesn't do a heck of a lot of damage on its own, but I like it in this particular case because I'm able to do damage to my enemy without being without having to, having to risk the full teeth of his weapons. Uh, let's see. Oh, those I got another uh Mega Bomb, might as well sell that. And since I think that's pretty much my, that minigun is pretty much my last major purchase that I plan on having, I'm going to spend the rest on face shields. And with that, that's going to, that was three waves, unless I miscounted. And I guess join me next time when we start up, continue on in the Tango Sector. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.